Okay, so thanks so much for all of you who have waited to the end of the day. I think it's been a really fantastic day, and I think everybody here has participated so well. But I just wanted to make just a couple of things about the day. When we started this morning, I don't know about you, but I came in a little nervous, excited, pretty, pretty curious. And I was trying to think when I was working with John and Liam and Gina and the team when we were developing this, going, uh, how will all this work? How will it happen in reality? You know, I was here, it was like going to the first IIMHL when you were there going, okay, I've read it all, but it still makes no sense. Then we had the question, if recovery education is the answer, what's the question? How the hell was that going to pan out? But when we started talking to each other as human beings, when we left our hats, as Frank said, outside the door, and we started to focus on what that question was, it's really about the passion we all have here in this room, which is recovery is possible. Hope is the undermining feature of for every one of us are here in this room and what we all bring to this. The cafe, a key point from the cafe conversation this morning then was that we all agreed that recovery education is far more than what we are currently experiencing. It's far wider. It touches into every aspect of every community. And when we talk about community, we don't just talk about where we live. It's where we work. It's the different services that we engage with every day, be they mental health services, your GP practice, your school, your choir, whatever. It touches right across that whole area. Then we looked at, and I'm going to get it wrong, the manamanam. Do, 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 do. So the pachacuca. <clears throat> I have to say, I sat there, and we all did at the table I was at, in awe of everybody who did that pachacuca. Am I saying it right? Yes! We really did sit in awe watching how it was done. And it was amazing. The key points came out because as we had our discussion this afternoon in the second part of the coffee uh, conversations, the cafe conversations, we remembered the key things. We were able to draw on those nuggets that each speaker gave to inform what it was that we felt we wanted for the approach in the questions for the, for the, for the second part. So thank you very, very much. I totally and utterly admire you. The piece that there was somebody made a remark this morning, it was actually John who christened himself Sean last night and I had to write it down here but I think it really encapsulated a lot for me which was uh, in relation to you might not get a degree but you learn to live to a degree, am I right? To a better degree, isn't that it? I also, somebody talked about gold dust and I thought about our next steps in this process. And I was saying, if we were all to become like the fairies with the sprinkle of gold dust, and that we could do that within our communities and get the sparkle going among champions that we identify who can encourage others to begin to search for answers and equally begin to ask more questions. So those are some of the key kind of takings that I had from today. And I'm sure that there's something that resonated with everybody in this room and what we will take away and what we can work on. And I was looking at people like Heidi and Gina scribbling copious notes that I know they're going to bring back, that you're going to bring back to inform what happened for us today. And Gina, I know, is going to bring back to inform the Irish Steering Committee um, and to inform the implementation of the Framework for Recovery in Mental Health. I can't leave the stage without thanking so many people today, in particular John, Gina, Ashling, Paddy, Geraldine, Jackie and Francis to Liam, to Frank and to Heidi, to all the facilitators, the note takers, to you all as the contributors, because that's what's the, where the richness comes from. It's the participation. To the videographer, photographer, and I have to say, I did say illusionist. I cannot get my tongue around illustrator, but actually, when you look at what that lady has created here today, she is an illusionist. <laughs> Absolutely. And a ha really hard working. 
Everything that we'll gather from today will provide us with good, rich information that will help to inform us in the future direction and evolution of recovery education here in Ireland. And I'd really like to say a big thank you to Sinead in the hotel and for, as always, looking after us so well. And I really hope I didn't leave anybody out. Thank you. Safe journey. Oh, 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 Liam. Yes. Anyone who's driving a car, as you go down to the lights with centre on your right-hand side, there's kind of a little white kind of box. Nudge a little bit into the box, it makes the lights change green. Don't go too far out in the feckin' traffic and come back saying I told you to go out in the middle of the road. Blame Liam. Thanks very much and safe journey home.